Welcome back, everybody, to 17th Down Old Guy Gaming, and it is uh, the next day. I did make it back last night in one piece, uh, though it was a bit of a of a hairy ride. <laughs> uh, but uh, after I got out of the roughest terrain, then you know it, the the pitch black went away and it went back to fog, and I could see a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, we made it back in one piece, and I just put stuff away. I've got gunpowder uh, cooking up in both of the Kim stations here. I got a lot more. A nitrate now I have to go mine some coal for that nitrate and I even had to overflow some of it into this box here uh, so we're gonna I'm gonna be doing some mining for a little while uh, I'll do that off camera of course and we also have some uh, points to spend too uh, but let's go down into the mine when I was uh, live streaming on Saturday I think it was <clears throat> I noticed that it looked like one of the chunks had reset and had reloaded in a bunch of stone that I had mined out. Um, and yep, it's it's there again, which isn't a bad thing because we can just remine it again and get it get it again. But all of this stone that you see from this wall over, um, I had mined out, and now it's back again. So for some reason, I guess the game decided to uh, reset that chunk. And you know, like I said, it actually works in our favor because it just it gives us. Um, you know, new stone or, or more stone to, to keep mining. Yeah, it's really weird because everything all the way to this wall had been mined out. So, yeah, we'll just mine it out again. Why not, right? Why not? Let's see if we got anything going on in this guy here. Uh, nope. He's got clay and a little bit of iron. But I think these are all pretty much just stone. I got stone coming out my ears. All right, well, he's got a little bit of iron in there, so let's go ahead and... I'm actually kind of lowish on iron at the moment. So we're going to mine some coal, we're going to mine some iron, and then... Yeah, those are the two things that we're mostly going to hit. I got a bunch of iron still over in this little pocket. And somewhere kind of over in this area, um, there's a coal pocket that we'll get to as well. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at our points. So we've got four points in total. I was going to do this in the last episode, but I forgot to do it. So uh, perception is what we've been working on, and we now have enough points to get Penetrator level 4. Uh, that gives us uh, ignore 35% of armor with firearms, archery, and spears. Armor piercing rounds can penetrate three additional targets or a block of up to 1,000 hit points when using hunting marksmen or sniper rifles. So that's pretty, pretty nice. So we got maxed out Lucky, maxed out Penetrator here. Um, I could... You know, if, if again, I, we've talked about this already, but if I, if I felt like I needed to, I could put some more points into demolitions. But for some reason, my pipe bombs are still, like, just doing mass damage. So, I mean, I, 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 I guess I'm, I have a little bit of a crisis of conscience with that because it, it seems to me like it's probably a bug. But, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I have had one, at least one or two of you in the comments say that you're not seeing the same thing that I am with the pipe bombs. So... I mean, I could put points into this. The, the advantage is that, you know, we could make our, or use rockets and we would do more damage and that sort of thing. But I don't know. Let's just let's just keep riding this out uh, for now and, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So that means we've got to decide where we're going to start focusing points next. Um, I mean, putting points into Master Chef would be kind of nice, but I don't think we really need to. Um, if we got this up to level four we would have 25% more movement and improved durability by 200%. So that's not bad. Let's keep that in mind, but that's not necessarily what I want to do. We could bite the bullet with these three and just get these last three points, and then we don't have to mess with the fortitude glasses anymore. That would definitely be convenient uh, for us to do. Um, or, you know, we could, we could just keep using the fort glasses when we need to, I guess. Uh, where it really makes a difference here, of course, is with the pain tolerance. And if we got healing factor up two more, uh, what does this give us? Gain one health every six seconds and critical injuries heal twice as fast. So that's not bad. I mean, you know, things are just getting tougher and tougher. So getting ourselves tougher and tougher is never a bad idea. Uh, running guns, one I've had my eye on too. That's always going to be useful for hip firing mostly. And Hidden Strike would be a really good one. And we have almost no points in Agility. So that's a consideration. Uh, intellect is already, you know, maxed out, well, with the glasses on. And we don't need to 
Max Grease Monkey out because I can already make the gyrocopter. I just need a socket wrench for my mechanics bits before I can do that. Um, Daring Adventure would be kind of nice, but, you know, I don't know. Better Barter has been seriously disappointing. I, You know, I've had this for a long time, and the traders just don't have anything, you know, just nothing all that great. And, of course, we have the action skills, too. But I think, well, let's do this. Let's just... Uh, let's go back to Fort and let's get ourselves, let's just go ahead and get Healing Factor up so we can be as tough as we can be. And I can't take this point right now unless I have my Fort glasses on, which I left upstairs uh, because I'm mining now. So I have, uh, my inventory is pretty much emptied. But um, what we'll do is we'll, when I'll go upstairs, I'll put my Fort glasses on later and then take this last point. And so when we're wearing the four glasses, we'll have a maximum healing factor. But that still gives us another point. So I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start focusing on the agility tree uh, for run and glun. Uh, run and glun, yeah. Uh, Flurry of blows wouldn't be bad either. Um, does this only affect one-handed melee attack speed, though? Each kill recharges stamina by 30 points. That's actually not bad, really. Um... And then, of course, Hidden Strike. Uh, definitely want to get this up. So, yeah, why don't we um, why don't we start focusing here on the Agility Tree? And we're going to start by putting one point into Run and Gun. I'm going to sit on this other point until I get my Fortitude Glasses back on so I can take the final point in um, Healing Factor. And then, yeah, that's going to pretty much make us as tough as we can be. Uh, if we ever get to a point where we have points to burn, so to speak, I might go ahead and go back to strength and put some points into heavy armor, but I mean that's kind of a would be a nice to have, but I don't think it's an absolutely essential thing for us to have at this point. What is essential again is agility, hidden strike, run and gun, and getting um, healing factor all the way up. Those are the ones that are the most important to me right now. And then, you know, once we get all that stuff, uh, and probably you know eventually just getting fort all the way up too. Um, so we don't have to even wear the fort glasses anymore. And then once we get all that stuff taken care of, then we can kind of figure out what we want to spend points on next. Okay, well, guys, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you right now. I'm going to remine this chunk again. Um, and uh, uh, actually, before I do that, I think I'm going to uh, continue going after some more iron first so we can get iron going. And, excuse me, and then uh, go hit some coal too. So I'll bring you back at some point with an update on where we are. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, I have a full chest of iron here, plus uh, I've smelted quite a bit more than that, and I also got a load of, of clay and have gunpowder cooking up like crazy. So we've got 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and then six, yeah, just lots. <laughs> lots of gunpowder coming, uh, coming up there. Uh, let's see, what else? So let's get these guys filled back up again. And I'll tell you what, if I play Ravenhurst again, which I probably will because I'm actually enjoying it, I'm going to see if there's some way to up the stack sizes a little bit because this is such a pain in the ass to have to manage these forges, you know, uh, with these small stacks. So let's get all of that topped off so they all have full stacks of iron. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go wrench some cars uh, with the crowbars uh, to see if we can get some some of those special parts that we need um and just to get some parts in general uh, and especially gas cans uh so let's see here what am i doing let's put all of this or put that back anyway now it looks like we need to make some more um filtered water so let's grab some of that and some chrysanthemum and some goldenrod and I just burned up all my coal, didn't I? <laughs> I did. Okay, whatever. I'll I'll just go mine some more later. I'm I'm a little I want to stop mining now. I'm a little tired of mining for for the time being. Um. Okay. So we're gonna put this back in here and grab a plate of this, and then we have to get. Um. We're probably well. We're probably not gonna get all of our our tools back in just so we can have more room for salvaging. So what do we want to take with us? Um, we don't need the pick for salvaging. Uh, we need this, of course. Uh, so why don't we take... 
why don't we take the sword and the shotgun and the AK? Yeah, we'll, we'll take that stuff and the impact driver. I'm going to leave the rest of it here. Uh, that's where the luckies too. And yeah, let's just leave the rest of rest of that here. So we'll take that stack of shotgun shells. We got this stack of 762. Uh, we'll keep this food with us. And here, we can actually put this down here. And now we've got these, uh, we've got some crowbars, which are actually up here, I believe. Okay, so I've got three different flavors here in terms of durability. Now, what do these require for repairing? Looks like they need an advanced repair kit. Okay. Um, so I think what I'll do is wear this one down till it's almost broken, then advance repair it, and then use it to merge with this one, and then we'll keep this one on standby for now. Um, uh, is that what I want to do? Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. So let's just take this one as it is for the moment. And we'll just use it till it's almost worn down, and then I'm just going to do normal salvaging with the impact driver. Mostly so we can get some gas cans, and then I've got to go back out and uh, mine more oil shale. So that's the plan with that. And we'll just take the motorcycle with us, because it's going to be cheaper on gasoline. Okay, let's do this. And we want to go south because there's not really a whole lot of vehicles left in our town. I've uh, salvaged just about all of them. Probably a couple couple places left, but not very many. Now you guys were telling me um, to use the crowbar only on whole cars and to use power attacks, and that's the most efficient way to use the crowbar. So that's what we're going to try and do here. Okay, we got our luckies. Let's see what's in here first. Uh, yeah, I don't want that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead, right click. Okay, we got the car radiator flat, which I think was the thing that I was looking for for such a long time and then ended up just buying the parts for the 4x. Uh, and we got a piston out of that too. Okay. Nice axe. Okay. We got a car front door flat, spark plugs, a couple more pistons. And then just basic stuff after that. Okay, let's do this. I'll take that. I'm just going to do a normal impact driver on this guy because it's only a one-stage vehicle. I don't know if that matters a whole lot or not, but... That's what we're going to do. All right, we got something new there. Uh, transmission. Oh, cool. Okay. I'm going to chuck these. And we're going to put non-stackables in the bike. I think this is like a bus, so it's a one stage, just a really long. Oh, nice thing. Uh, so, let, yeah, let's try this on here. I only seem to be getting normal parts on here. Yeah, let's just use this.
Uh, we could try and break in here. There's some pretty good loot in this little gun store. Uh, not super comfortable with this guy around, though. I didn't bring my pipe bombs, did I? Nope. This is supposed to be a salvaging session, not a kill the monster bug session. So, yeah, screw that guy. Um, we want to try and break in here. There's a lot of Zeke's in here. Problem is, we're probably going to get his attention, too. Yeah, let's do it some other time. Let's just stick to our, our plan right now and keep salvaging. Oh, is this one of those trader places? Oh, no, this is a train station. Interesting. I've never been down here. This is really cool. We're going to have to come in back and check this out at some point. I'm not going to do it right now, though, because I don't have my full my full kit on me for combat. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, we're going to have to check this out. Lots of cars to salvage. Disgusting. Little creatures. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it before. All right, I'm going to sell some of these cheaper batteries uh, to her just to free up some inventory, make a little cash. Uh, let's see, anything else I want to sell? Yeah, let's sell these radiators because uh, I don't need them for brass. And these tools are worth repairing before we sell them, so let's just keep them. I'm going to keep all the engines for now, too. Okay. Okay, we'll sell the most expensive ones first, just in case she doesn't want all of them. Okay, I think that's all we're going to sell to her. Let's check her inventory, just for the hell of it. Rocket launcher, uh, rocket launcher schematic. That might not be a bad one to look at getting. Uh, this would be good to get for just repairing a high-level one. It's still 3,000 coin, though. I mean, we can certainly afford it, but still, that seems awfully steep. Yeah, nothing too impressive. I hope you get feeling better. Thank you, Jen. That's very kind of you. Shit. Kind of freaky when we see run into those guys. We usually only see them on Horde Night. Okay. Let's check the vending machine. Ah, uh, I'll. I already have some of those. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to take any of that. Okay, let's go back up the road this way and see if some of those other zombies cleared out by the cars up here. Sleeping Arlene, sleeping as she's standing up. Yeah, there's a bunch of sleepers in this area. Let's see if we can pull them one by one. Uh, it's really hard to see their heads from here with this gun. So we got three, well, four with the crawler. We can handle these guys. Is there something moving on the street down there? We 
got a hazmat dude here. Oh, he was fast. You're not dead yet? Or are you a oh he's a different crawler. Alright, let's get the spider. Hazmat and a Darlene. Come on, guys. Get that door busted down. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, Nurse Nancy and a Night Walker. Oh, look at you moving. Alright, that kills those guys. Let's eat some food here. I'll take that. Okay, I think I'm finished using this crowbar because it is getting close. And so what we'll do, like I said, is we'll take it back home. I'll repair it with an advanced repair kit and then use it to um, repair the high-level green one that we have. Okay, let's see, where are we at with stackables? This is non-stackable, stackable, non-stackables. I uh, don't care about the bones. Let's get rid of those entirely. And it looks like everything else that's in here is still stackable. So yeah, I still I can still get some more stuff. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to use this anymore. So let's put this in here. And I guess we'll just pull. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll pull the pipes down here. And then I'm just going to use the impact driver uh, for the rest of the night. All right, guys, we're back home, and this is all the stuff that we got uh, from our little salvage trip, uh, including these duster accessories. So that's uh, going to come in handy for, I guess, a helicopter. Looks like that's what that is, or ultralight or something. Um, so let's go ahead and put stuff away, and then uh, the next thing I've got to do, excuse me, Sorry, it's not good. I gotta go to bed. Uh, the next thing I gotta do now that I have all these gas cans is to go get some oil shell, which of course I will uh, also do off camera. Uh, but in terms of, just, oh man, we got so many batteries. This is crazy. Uh, but in terms of like the the special parts uh, that we got, none of those are the special parts. So yeah, it's all all in here. Um, we got the duster accessories. We got a, a flat car radiator. We got three flat car doors, which I guess we already had some of those. Some more hoods, some seats, a trunk lid. What's this? A fender. Yeah, we had some of those too. Pistons, <clears throat> another alternator, a crankshaft, three transmissions, which we didn't have before, some more spark plugs. And I think that's it for the for the special stuff. 
then you know just a bunch of batteries and engines and that sort of thing uh, but let's do something here really quick before I let you go um let's grab here let's grab one of these and let's grab this crowbar and what we're gonna do I guess I left that back in here didn't I let's grab this guy okay so we're gonna repair this crowbar And then, uh, oh, it's still purple. That's good. And, okay, so let's put the greeny up there, the purple, and it still stays green. Nice. Okay. Now we have a, a high-level, fully repaired crowbar to continue going after uh, some of the nicer parts. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go mine up a whole bunch of oil shale so I can make gasoline. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to put... All of the empty cans in here. I don't know if I'm going to fit them all. I might have to overflow them. I still have a whole bunch of nitrate, so I need to do another round of coal mining uh, in order to, you know, keep making gunpowder. But we should have, yeah, we're we got nice, uh, nice little piles of gunpowder cooking up there too, which is great. So, um, yeah, I'll bring you back uh, later on with another update on where we are. This is just kind of a a bit of a all-purpose episode. We're just doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it looks like the garden is just about ready to harvest, too, on top of everything else. All right. Look at that. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm back from mining oil shale, and I've pretty much filled up my entire inventory and uh, have a few more pieces to go. So that should hold us over for quite some time. And now it's time to make gasoline. So let's see. Are you guys done with your gunpowder? Not quite. Okay, so we need to get... Uh, Looks like 31 more minutes of burn time in there and about 35 more in there. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to have to temporarily... Let's just temporarily put these in here just so I have a little bit of room to work with. And we're going to pull all of the gunpowder out of here that's currently in here. And normally I would keep that in the explosives chest, but as you can see, that's really full. So we're going to throw the gunpowder in here. And let's get some more wood going here. I don't know how much we're going to need. Oh, yeah, I do. It's 30, 35 minutes, which is going to equate to, well, let's just put 45 of those in. And turn that back on. And you're going to need 31 minutes. All right, close enough. Okay. Now, uh, what we want to do is gather up all of these that we currently have. And I have a few more in here that we over... that overflowed into there. Actually, here, let's leave those there and we'll get the ones left over in the 4x. Okay, and then we'll take, oh, uh, let's see, let's just take the rest of these for the moment. All right, so we can make a total of 23 gas cans. So let's do 11 in here. That's going to be 49 minutes. That's, that equates to 11,000. And... I'm just going to put, like, that much in there. I'm not going to try and do too much math here. Okay. There we go. And we still have a decent amount of oil shale left over, but we're out of gas cans now. Oh, we have a ton of oil shale left over. My goodness. Okay. Uh, it's not all going to fit in there, so I guess... Well, here, let's just put as much in here as we can fit in there. And we need five more. I was thinking about staying out and even mining a little bit more, but there's no, whoops, no point in doing that because we already got more than we know what to do with. Put those up there. 
Okay, so we'll just, I mean, we have plenty of room here in our tool chest, so we'll just leave all of the extras in there for now. Put that in there and this in here. Okay, so we should be in pretty good shape on oil shale for a while. Um, oh, I got one more. It's just, uh, it's the cans that are actually the bigger pain in the butt anyway. And I've looked at this before, but we can make empty gas cans, but it takes... 30 polymers and 5 glue. So, so we got 5 glue there and 30 polymers. But you only get 120. And it's, I, I don't know, that just seems, that doesn't seem like very much, you know, for, for 5 glue. I would think 1 glue... And maybe 10 polymers for 120, but for five glue, I mean, I don't know, man. That just seems that doesn't that seems out of out of balance, too expensive. And that's why I opt for, you know, wrenching cars to get the gas cans instead. Well, anyway, that's just the way it works, I guess. All right, so let's see what what's going on now. We gotta get we gotta get the garden harvested and get that turned around. Uh, we're in super, super good shape on food, though, um, overall. I still seem to run out of carrots, though, more than anything else. So, I don't know, I might even plant more of those. Uh, one thing I stopped making is the salad. Because I, I, I think I covered this maybe on a live stream. But salad is really expensive because it requires... It takes five of each produce to make. And vegetable stew and beef stew and some of all the, some of these other things only take two veggies. See, like sham chowder only takes two potatoes and corn. Vegetable stew only takes two. I guess it takes three tomatoes and three of those. So it's a little more expensive there, but still not as much as the salad. Um, and I, the vegetable stew is a little bit better than the salad mostly because I think the salad might give you a little more food but the vegetable stew gives you the stamina bonus so um, what and, and that's the only thing you can use cucumbers for so I mean I don't know I might I might stop growing cucumbers and grow more carrots instead just to kind of see you know what the balance is on that but we'll see I, I don't know I mean the the bottom line is we got lots of food, and I've already consumed like two stacks of hobo stew, you know, from all the mining and stuff we've done too. Um, so, food is just definitely not an issue anymore. Let's put this flower up here. Okay, um, so I need to re redo the forges again. Yep, they're out. And then yeah, I'm just gonna keep cranking out. Um, uh, finish the gunpowder get the gasoline going ideally I'd like to get the 4x and the motorcycle completely f filled up and then you know still have whoops uh, still have some left over even after that uh, so we'll get going on that and then I'm not sure where we are on time with this episode because I've just been kind of all over the place so I will either uh, bring you back for another update or I'll end the episode and I don't even know why I'm telling you this right now <laughs> So we'll figure it out. Anyways, uh, see you in a bit.